We're joined now by CSU Bakersfield coach Rod Barnes and student athletes Antavian Collum and Cameron Smith. We'll start by asking coach for an opening statement and then open the floor to questions. We ask media to please raise your hand and identify yourself and your media outlet before asking your question. Coach, if you would please start us off with your opening comments. Well, obviously we're glad to be here. We're excited. Uh, it's a great place to play, a good arena. Uh, Big West has done a great job as far as hosting us and being here, so we're excited about that. I thought the game tonight, I thought we got to give our coaching staff credit. Uh, they really slowed the game down. They took us out of our rhythm, uh, but I'm really proud of our team. We hung in there and made some plays when we needed to make them, and we get a chance to, to advance. And in March, that's what you want to do, survive in advance. And uh, we've survived tonight, so we're looking forward to uh, Thursday and our next challenge ahead of us. Any questions here on the floor? Isaac Camelli, GoRunners.com. Coach, uh, number five for Cal State Northridge, Atten Wright, had to have been on your scouting report, and he went three for 17 today from the field. Is that what you guys were focusing on? Well, we were. I mean, he's a great player. He's been scoring. I think he's, over the last five games, he's averaged like 27 points, and he really did a great job against us in the last game. Well, I think he had 28 against us in the last game. So our focus was to try to just limit him. We always know with great scores, you're not going to just stop them from scoring, but you try to limit them. And then you also try to make it tough. And then we tried to wear him down. And uh, it was a good play there at the end that uh, seemed like he caught a cramp or something. And I was trying to contemplate whether we are going to foul him or, or give him an opportunity to make the shot. Yes. Uh, Miles Boynes, Eyewitness News, Channel 29 KBAK. This one's for Coach Barnes. Coach, you guys have had an injury plagued season. A um, little uncertainty about who's going to be available coming into the Big West tournament. How are you guys able to adjust and stay mentally strong going into the first round? Well, I think, you know, we made a ch decision. Uh, back when we lost uh, Caleb Higgins, that the next guy was going to have to step up. And then after we lost the rest of the guys, you know, I thought this group of guys really just kind of bonded, especially our starters. thought those guys kind of came together and realized they were going to have to play a lot of minutes. And after that, our younger guys really uh, joined in with those guys and tried to contribute. So it's been something that, you know, we're not going to make any excuses. And uh, that's what I told them. Uh, we have a season ahead of us, and uh, they're going to require us to play. So we might as well give our very best. And I think these guys have handled the adversity well, and they've gone forward. And we haven't talked about who we don't have. We talk about who we do have. Uh, Taylor Schaub, KGT. And Tavian, we talked earlier in the week, and you talked about your ride coming from high school to Ole Miss, now to CSUB, and some of the confidence issues you battled and have kind of regained since you've been here. What does it mean to be the leading scorer in the Big West Championship game? Uh, Coach Bowens put me in positions to score. Uh, we got good plays. Uh, he trusts me. And then him having trust in me, it made me build trust in myself. So they just lead one thing to another and then execute the play on offense. Coach Barnes, what does it mean to you to have some of these players that you didn't know where they were going to fit, you didn't know where the pieces were going to fit halfway through this season, gel together in the way that they are and coming alive at a point when you need it most? Well, it was important. I mean, again, we, we talk about building our program. So it's not about one person or me or anyone else. And, and then again, we don't make any excuses. You know, our whole focus is to make sure every game we try to give our very best. We owe that to our university, we owe that to our community, and we owe it to each other. So as we lost people or had injuries, uh, I even think our guys that are injured really came together uh, because it's, that was important. They're over there cheering, they're excited. Uh, no one has taken the, oh, woe is me kind of uh, feeling a, a sense of that. So it's kept us moving forward. Uh, I think our coaching staff uh, and our leadership, these two guys have done a great job of pressing us and keeping us moving forward. And that's why we were able to win tonight. Uh, didn't look well, things weren't going well, uh, but we hung in there and I thought it was an example of what has happened to us this, this, this season. And things didn't go well, but we hung in there. 
Finally, uh, Coach McCall and, and the women's team won earlier today. For Bakersfield to come in here and, and sweep round one, what, what does that mean to you as somebody that's lived in this community, that's coached in this community a long time? Well, we love Bakersfield. I mean, my wife is here. We love Bakersfield. So any success in Bakersfield, we're cheering and we're excited about it. But I'm just excited for all of our people. I'm a, I'm a fans and alumni, former players kind of coach. I, I do what I do to hopefully to make them proud. And I was excited. I was feeling really bad there for a while on the bench uh, because I kept hearing our people cheering us, trying to push us forward. And, and that was the reason why we won this game. So I'm uh, happy and excited for our women's team and Coach McCall. And hopefully we can do the same thing. For some reason, I think they're playing Irvine too, right? Yeah. Okay, so we'll try to repeat what happened tonight. This question's for Bino Smith. Bino, you're one of the seniors on this team, uh, your last chance in the Big West Conference Tournament. Does your preparation and mindset differ from years in the past, knowing that you're one of the seniors? Um, absolutely. <clears throat> well, first of all, I'm just blessed to be in this opportunity um, that God gave me to go out here and just play the game that I love so much. And, uh, you know, my mental focus uh, from this year, from previous years past, I mean, it's more detail. Uh, I know it's... Uh, it's expected a lot for me to go out there and play well, but I just uh, go out there and enjoy the moment. You know, anything that I can do to help contribute to the win, that's what I do. Anyone else? Great. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, guys.